Hello again and welcome to another edition of the Mac Brown Show. My name is Jones Angel alongside the, well, virtually alongside the Hall of Fame head coach of the Tar Heels, Mac Brown. And we'll be here for the next hour or so talking Carolina football. We'll revisit that exciting win for Carolina this past weekend in Durham over Duke. We'll look ahead to another tough matchup for the Heels, another in-state opponent with Wake Forest coming off a bye week for the Deeks. They're coming to Chapel Hill to see the Tar Heels Saturday at noon. We have some good questions from you to answer as well, and a lot more to do. Plus, a conversation with Jake Lawler, former Tar Heel, who uh, just had a first his first official short film, was part of a film festival. He talks about that, about some challenges that he's had personally, his relationship with Coach Brown, and a lot of different things as well. So that's coming up later in the show. But let's start with Saturday afternoon in Durham, Carolina Duke, and Coach, first of all, congratulations. And secondly, wow, what an impressive performance on Saturday. Carolina scores on its first six possessions of the game, seven of its first eight with the one that it didn't score. The Heels had – it was just one second left in the first half. So just an unbelievable uh, offensive performance for the Tar Heels. Jumped on Duke early and, and never looked back. No, really proud of the guys. They, uh, they understand the importance of, of this game. Uh, with Duke every year. They understand that uh, uh, when their name is in our fight song and we're playing for a, a victory bell that we need to keep it. And people are happier when we do. And we have great respect for uh, uh, David Cutcliffe and, and Duke football. And uh, they've done a tremendous job throughout the, the years here. David's been there a long time and, and done the best job anybody's ever done at Duke over many years. Uh, so we knew it would be a tough game going in. and. Uh, we just played pretty flawless on offense and defensively. We, we, uh, well, we, we were even five of five in the red zone on offense for touchdowns uh, until that last one where we were killing the clock. Uh, we had four for four on fourth downs. We were, kept them 0 for two on fourth downs. We forced two turnovers. Uh, so just really, really a good day of football for us. Still a lot of things we can fix, but um, I like the attitude. I like the effort. We got to play a lot of people. And, um, and and come away with a super win. 56-24, by the way, the, the final score. Coach, 26 plays of 10 yards or more for your offense. It felt like the explosiveness of this offense was on display on Saturday afternoon. Yes, when, when, we, when we do that, we used to do that at, at Texas, and uh, when, when you do that as a coach, as a fan, you get so that's what you expect. Mm. And then you come out and we don't do that. And they say, what's wrong? <laughs> because that's not the norm. But the guys are doing so well. Sam played a near perfect game. He held one ball too long and they made an outstanding play for the, the interception. Uh, but other than that, uh, the offense was clicking. By far the best performance with, with our offensive line. And, and in fact, the offensive line were the players of the game offensively. Jeremiah Gimmel, as many guys that played well on defense, five sacks. Yep. Uh, but uh, Jeremiah Gimmel played the best uh, on defense. Uh, really proud of, of the two corners that uh, you got your two starting corners out and Patrice Rene and, and um, uh, Day Day, Day, Day Holland, Holland step up and, and just do an outstanding job. Day Day 